And today, on Bobby Learns, I am going to try to whistle with my fingers. That's something that I've wanted to do before. I've kind of looked into it. I hope that I'm not trying to whistle for an entire hour. I'm going to try tying different knots. All right, let's get started. Until you get that high-pitched, commanding, loud whistle. Way to go, me. Oh. Now you probably won't get a sound bite <laughs> off the bat. Oh my gosh, I am amazed that that's already creating a sound. I was expecting to... This is literally uh, like two minutes in. Wow. That's that's some uh, very good description on, on what to do by this guy. Are you kidding me? Okay. <laughs> so this is not getting picked up by my mic. I have a, um, a limiter on it to uh, not allow the, the mic to pick up, like, huge, terrible noises. Um, hmm. All right, I am going to switch to uh, my iPhone, and I'm going to start recording on that. So just because I don't feel like messing with filters in the middle of um, recording... Okay. Um, all right. I am going to uh, switch over to the uh, learning to, to whistle like this. You should form an OK symbol with your index finger and your thumb. Then with your fingers, push back your thumb and just blow air through the space. I'm getting lightheaded and it, it looks like yeah, uh, the the mic is not even picking this up. I'm gonna I'm gonna move back to the phone. All right, um, there's there's no way I can just keep doing this. Um, the past 15 minutes I've, I've been trying to do the, the circle whistle and um, it is way harder than the A whistle. More than half my time I feel like I'm resting up from hyperventilating. This feels like something you can practice like once or twice every now and then and you'll be fine with it it's just doing it for 20 straight minutes is just too much all right so i am going to uh move on to the knots
If done properly, both of these will look very clean and will be easy to undo when you need it to. The fourth knot is a bolt. Total success, so until next time. <laughs>